Welcome student, C8-6502, Unit 2, Alkaloids. In this unit, we have discussed different type of alkaloids, their general structural elucidation, and all different information related to alkaloid, how to get the structural information of alkaloid as well. In this lecture, we will going to discuss one of the alkaloid, that is conine. I am Dr. Devangar Pandya from Department of Chemistry, Sanjeevis College, Autonomous Ahmedabad. Let's begin with conine introduction and its historical background. Hamlock Econum Mecalatum L, that is the plant family name of uh, a plant which contain this alkaloid and this plant is a highly poisonous plant hemlock poisoning is due to the presence of several alkaloids of which conine is most important alkaloid out of that and those alkaloid are responsible for the poisonous effect in this plant conine destroys all form of life and cause death by gradual paralysis then creeping from fit and convulsions it is famous for death to socrates who was condemned to death around 400 bc by drinking of hemlock plant extract which contain those alkaloid one of them that is conine Conine was the first alkaloid to be synthesized in laboratory. Conhydrine, gamma conicine, cyconhydrine, and normal methyl and methyl conine are the other alkaloids found in hemlock plant, which cause the poisonous effect and that make Socrates die. some physical properties of conine which gives some insight of the structural information of conine conine is colorless optically active poisonous liquid boiling point around 166 to 167 degrees centigrade it was isolated in 1827 and its structure was established in 1855 by Hoffman you can see isolation done on 1827 and since that time then nobody has tried to find out the structural information but in 1885 Hoffman gives the structural structure establishment of this compound alkaloid the molecular formula of conine was determined to be C8H17N from its molar mass and elemental analysis the nitrogen which present in this uh, structure that nitrogen in conine was confirmed to be secondary amine to confirm the secondary amine of this nitrogen conine is treated with methyl iodide which is going to form a quaternary ammonium salt with two mole of methyl iodide and form a nitrosoderivity when treated with nitrous acid that nitrosoderivity have a molecular formula C8H16N2O so that nitrous nitrosoderivity is going to be formed and treating with methyl iodide or two mole of methyl iodide when it form a quaternary ammonium salt these are the two proof which indicates that uh, this compound contain a secondary amine as a nitrogen element the distillation of conine typological mistake e you need to consider over here with zinc dust gave a dehydrogenated product that is conirine this conirine produced pyridine 2 carboxylic acid that is also known as alpha picolinic acid when oxidized with potassium permanganate here is the reaction 
conine that is C8H17N on zinc distillation converted into conidine that is C8H11N and on oxidation with potassium permanganate it will going to give us pyridine 2 carboxylic acid this is the pyridine nucleus and on carbon second carboxylic acid is there so that indicate that this compound have a pyridine derivative it's have a pyridine nucleus and on second carbon there should be a branch this formation of pyridine 2 carboxylic acid that is picolinic acid means that a chlorine must be a pyridine derivative with a C3H7 side chain at carbon 2 and when we got the information regarding chlorine the same information we can apply for conine conine must therefore be a pyridine derivative with C3H7 side chain at two position because molecular formula of conine corresponds to a double bond equivalent that is DBE of 1. So this is conine on zinc distillation gives chlorine. Conirine, sorry. This side chain in conine can be a normal kind or isopropyl type. And it was confirmed by several reactions that side chain in conine is not isopropyl but normal propyl type. These are certain reaction. Conine was thus assigned structure 1. These are the two structures. This is a normal propyl, propyl chain and this is isopropyl chain. This two structure conine has but out of that. Conine was assigned structure 1 by doing several reactions and that reaction we are going to show you in the next slide. Conine gives an octane when heated with hydroidic acid at 300 degrees centigrade temperature under pressure which can be obtained only from compound 1 and compound 2 will produce isooctane. These are the two reactions. We have conine treated with hydroidic acid at 300 degree temperature and pressure. It's going to give us normal octane. While this isopropyl chain containing conine isomer, well treated with hydroidic acid, 300 degrees temperature and pressure, same reaction parameters, we're going to get isooctane. Second, that is a Hoffman exhaustive degradation or exhaustive methylation of conine affords a diene that is coniline and that coniline affords an octane on reduction which can expected from structure 1 only not structure 2 that also prove that conine has structure 1. We have conine treated with methyl iodide, excess methyl iodide in presence of silver hydroxide. On heating, it will going to give us this ring opening reaction. So from this, the ring opening takes place. And it further treated with methyl iodide and it is exclusive methylation process followed by treatment with silver hydroxide. On heating, we will going to get coniline that is a diene. And that diene on reduction will going to give us an octane. And that only conine normal propyl, propyl chain can give this normal octane. And that is why uh, this Hoffman degradation also proves that conine have structure 1. Third is the von Braun degradation of conine and that also support the structure 1. 1,5-dichlorooctane was formed when conine was subjected to von Braun degradation. You can see here the von Braun degradation. We have conine treated with acid chloride uh, followed by sodium hydroxide. We are going to get this carbonyl derivative treated with PCl5. We are going to get dichlorooderivative. Uh, the lone pair of electron will going to overlap between carbon and nitrogen. So chloride will depart and that chlorine will come in ionic form over here nitrogen which have now four uh, valency so it's going to generate a positive charge on it so carbon nitrogen from that bond a pair of electron will shifted on nitrogen so ring opening reaction will take place from this side 
this carbon becomes slightly delta positive so that is going to be donated a pair of electron by chloride and it's going to form carbon chlorine bond the extra lone pair of electron will going to look over here so carbon nitrogen bond from which the electron pair shifted on nitrogen as nitrogen generate positive charge one chlorine will going to depart and it's going to give a chain pair of electron to this so nitrogen will going to remove as a phenyl cyanide group and we're going to get 15 dichlorooctane that is also a kind of normal octane with two chloro derivative so that also suggests that uh, uh, conine has structure 1 not 2 synthesis of conine two synthesis are there the first one is ledenburg achieved the first synthesis of conine starting from pyridine and the reaction is as follow pyridine further treated with first treated with uh, methyl iodide will going to gives this cotton or ammonium salt will treated with three, uh, which is heated at 300 degree centigrade temperature will going to get two methyl pyridine this two methyl pyridine further treated with uh, ethanol uh, sorry eth uh, acetaldehyde in presence of zinc chloride at uh, 250 degree centigrade temperature will going to get uh, two pro uh, propenyl pyridine and on reduction with sodium ethanol we are going to get conine second synthesis second synthesis is by bragman in 1932 he prepared a racemic conine starting from two methyl pyridine and obtained conine by resolution of the optical isomers with hydrogen tartrate This is two methyl pyridine treating with uh, phenyl lithium. We will going to get a lithium derivative, which further treated with uh, ethyl bromide. We will going to get two N propyl pyridine, and on reduction with sodium ethanol, we will going to get conine. And then on separation of this racemic mixture with hydrogen tartrate, we will going to get conine. Well. this is something well this is uh, enough from my end thank you for paying attention to this video lecture keep asking question as you know asking question is a beautiful way of way to gain knowledge thank you very much